everybody, this is Bogast Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Marvel Studios' The First Ten Years Ronan the Accuser figure. So before we take a look at Ronan and his accessory, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm actually going to show the packaging because uh, normally I don't do this because if you own one Marvel Legend, if you're an MOC collector or not, then you know what the packages look like. You know, they're, they're pretty much all the same, but uh, these come in an exclusive packaging show it right there and you will see that this is ten more dollars than uh, normal it is a GameStop exclusive but I also think it's an Entertainment Earth exclusive too so there you get the top of the packaging and on the side here you get Guardians of the Galaxy concept artwork once you get all of the packs it combines to make one giant picture which I think is awesome and there's a brief bio and then you get the Guardians of the Galaxy poster right there. This is number six in the wave. And then you get a little more of a bio right here on the side. And then it says 2014. So I really love this. I think that was a really good gimmick. Um, you kind of have to buy them all if you get one so that you can uh, make all the box art. I mean, if you don't care about the figure or, or the box, then you don't need to. But I'm going to try and get them all and make that awesome picture. <laughs> So now let's go ahead and take a look at Ronan's accessory. So he comes with his hammer here, and it looks very nice. Like how it has the power stone right there. How it's kind of, uh, the energy is kind of bleeding out. That looks very nice. And it has a lot of texturing to it, as well as a nice marbleization going on. You can see a little bit of brown mixed in with the silver. That looks really nice has a bit of sculpting detail on the handle which also looks good just looks pretty good all around so let's go ahead and put this in his hand kind of have to wedge it in at an angle like with all uh, Marvel Legends figures and accessories and he can hold this in just his right hand um, mine's torso is a little loose so he does kind of slouch a bit or you can have him holding it in both hands just kind of have to wedge it in at an angle too or what I do is just kind of pry the fingers apart and then do that so you can do that if you want so now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt of Ronan so this head sculpt is fantastic um, I do have one problem with it which I will get into in just a second but that head sculpt is fantastic it looks like Lee Pace is uh, Ronan I like how his eyes have that purplish hue to him like um, when he uh, oh gets the power stone and gets the power of it, well, of course, as the name implies. And you can see the purple veins down his face. That looks really good. I also like how his head is textured a little bit. Like uh, right here where the uh, tribal paint, I guess that's what you'd call it, uh, tribal paint, is um, it has a little bit of texturing to it. And it is kind of shaky, but that's how it looks in the movie. And it does kind of look like it's textured. So that's really nice. And I think the chain mail on his headdress looks nice. Nice silver collar. And uh, the shoulder pads are gunmetal. Now here is uh, my only issue. It's not really that much of an issue. I mean, it bothers so many people, but I don't really think it's a big deal. Is when you turn his head, his headdress moves with him. Um, it was previously advertised as uh, being removable. Um, back when this was first announced, the uh, product details listed uh, this as being removable. I don't know, uh, let me pop this off here. If you boiled it, uh, that looks like it's pegged in there. So if you boiled it, uh, he'd probably have a giant hole in his head, so that probably wouldn't work. But when you turn his head, the headdress and even the shoulder pads will move with it. But it's kind of one of those things, I really don't think Ronan was looking uh, sideways very much. I mean, even if you just kind of move it to the side like that, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I think people are overreacting about it just a little bit. I mean, you know, it, it, it doesn't bother me, at least, I should say. But his armor has very nice sculpting detail. I also like the coloring to it, too, how it's that gunmetal and then the silver and the red paint right here looks nice. And he has that chainmail right there on his hand. And the armor's textured. Kind of has that uh, speckled texture. Or speckled. I can't remember which it is. 
Um, but it has a uh, raised texture to it. And the skirt piece right here. I want to say loincloth, but I'm pretty sure it's uh, it's not a loincloth, so I'm saying the uh, skirt piece right here. That armor travels all the way down. And it looks pretty good. Um, this is uh, all new sculpt. Which is good. I mean, I don't think you could have reused any other thing. Like his thigh pads right here have that texture to it. Which is cool. And uh, I'm not sure what these are. Uh, these weird things that are attached. Honestly, it should be attached to his headdress. But uh, these look nice. These go all the way down his back. Just like in the movie. Uh, these weird flappy thingies. These weird uh, chainmail flappy thingies look good. <laughs> And then there is Boots, which has a little bit of sculpting to it. And it looks pretty good. I'm just very satisfied with this figure. I mean, I've waited four years for a Ronin figure. I honestly think that Hasbro just should have made him in the first wave and replaced Cosmic Iron Man with Ronin. Because, I, I mean, let's admit, we really didn't need Cosmic Iron Man. He was only in that armor for, like, maybe ten issues. I mean... But Hasbro makes so many Iron Men, it's uh, not even funny. But I'm glad that we finally got a Ronin figure, and it does not disappoint. Uh, some people might be disappointed by the head right there, how it does that. But it really doesn't bother me, because it really doesn't hinder his articulation at all. So uh, I'll go ahead and go over his articulation right now. He has a... Uh, let me just go ahead and lay that down. I figure it's going to fall over his hand while I'm reviewing it anyway. Or going over the articulation. He has a ball jointed head that that can look down all the way. It can look back all the way. It will kind of spread out like that though, but he can look back. And he can move his head side to side. He has ball jointed shoulders that are kind of stiff. You'll hear that click. Like that. But they can move out that far. He has swiveled the bicep, double jointed elbow, which can bend in very far. He has swiveled the wrist that can move side to side and up and down. And on his left hand, he has that hinge that can move up and down like that. Um, I think his right hand should have been the hinge, and the left hand should have been the swivel. I don't know, just uh, just my thoughts. So let me, there, go ahead and put that down. I'm, I'm kind of afraid that will break since it is making that clicking noise, so I would be careful. Um, could just be mine. Uh, it's, it's usually just mine. It's usually no one else's. Um, <laughs> But he has an ab crunch that can move back just a little bit. And he can crunch forward all the way. He has swiveled the waist. Ball jointed hips that can move out that far. The skirt piece does hinder it just a little bit. He can kick forward all the way. And he really can't kick back. He has swiveled the thigh. Double jointed knee. Oops. Double jointed knee. That you kind of have to move up like that. Because the skirt gets in the way. Um, but he has a double jointed knee. Swiveled the ankle. That's uh, actually pretty fluid compared to uh, the, the knees. He has swivel at the uh, ankle and an ankle rocker. So the articulation is really good on this figure. Uh, like I said, seeing the reviews and stuff with the headdress, I figured it would probably hinder his articulation, but it really didn't hinder it at all. So that's good. So now let's go ahead and do some size comparisons here. So uh, let me get him standing here. I want to get him in a good pose for the size comparisons. Well, now he's cockeyed. There. Okay. So here he is next to Gamora. This is Volume 2 Gamora because I'm not quite sure where I put my Volume 1 Gamora. But here he is next to Gamora. And he is quite a bit taller than her. Here he is next to Nebula. And she's a little bit taller than Gamora and this is pretty accurate. Um, because this is actually her Volume 1 suit. So that's even more accurate. We need a, a Volume 2 or Infinity War Nebula with her uh, Guardian's outfit. Here he is next to Star-Lord, so you can recreate that dance-off scene. And finally, here he is next to his comic counterpart. And you can see this Ronin is uh, vastly different, honestly. I mean, the hammer design is kind of the same, but this is a uh, Ronin from the comics. This is the Ronin Builder figure from, uh, I, I think it was uh, uh, Silver Surfer, Rise of the Silver Surfer Wave. 
I can't even remember what year that was, like 2007, 8 or 9, one of those years. <laughs> it's been a long time ago, but this was an old Builder figure, as you can tell. I kind of like an updated figure. I know it's been confirmed that we're getting Super Scroll and Doctor Doom for next year um, for Walgreens. So maybe there's a chance that we can get an updated run, and that would be nice. I don't actually even know uh, what body mold they'd use, but still, it'd be nice to get an update for him. So overall, I would highly recommend this Ronin figure. Uh, the price point is ten more dollars than uh, than the regular Marvel Legends, but I think that that's I think that's a pretty acceptable price. I mean, I've waited four years for Hasbro to make a figure of Ronin, and I, it does not disappoint. The sculpt is great. The detail is great. Well, that's sculpt. The sculpt, uh, paint apps, and articulation is really good. So I would highly recommend. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.